All right, guys, how's it going? Miller here. Uh, this is just a really quick update on my 15mm uh, English Civil War stuff that I've had on the go. These were the figures that I picked up from Steel Fish, Min Steel Fist Miniatures. I'll try that again. Um, they're not quite finished. Obviously, the fella in the front here, when it comes back around, you'll see, is um, the Ensign. And I haven't been able to get hold of or find anywhere that has um, good quality 15mm English Civil War flags. Um, so if anybody knows, drop something in the comments and I'll go and check them out. I know that there's, um, I think it's War Games Designs do some, but I'm not that big a fan on the quality that you get with that. And especially when you're looking for flags, they they do a large sheets, so you, so you have about 10 different flags on it. But then there'll be 10 flags from 10 completely random regiments that I don't even plan on doing. Um, which means I don't really end up wanting to buy a sheet, um, you know, for £10 or whatever of flags and I'm only going to use one flag from, which is why I quite like using the 28mm stuff from Flags of War and I know GMB do some good flags as well, but they don't all seem to do 15mm. There's other companies that do 10mm but not 15 Anyway, uh, completely off on a tangent now. Um, I just thought I'd show these off. Uh, I'm really happy with how they've come out. First time I've ever tried doing any 15mm. And uh, just for scale representation of how small they are, they're 28mm um, Bicorn pikemen uh, that I've done quite a while ago. Um, so it was quite a shock when I ended up getting hold of these and realised how small they actually were. Um, but I'm really happy with them. I've still got the two wings of pikemen to do. Move this out of the way and I can show you a bit better. Obviously still got the two wings of pikes to do. Um, but these pikes, sorry, not two wings of pikes, two wings of muskets, sorry. These pikes are the um, brush bristles, so I could quite easily go to pick these up and not worry that I'm going to stab my hand or snap them because they all bend back into place. When storing them, I obviously will put them in something that's not going to compress them down all the time because I'm worried that if obviously you leave it down too much they'll get um they'll stay you know they'll, they'll have a memory and they'll want to stay bent so i'll still try and keep them packaged with the pike straight a little bit of sand on the pike they're a bit annoying in there right now um obviously anyone who knows that my channel knows that i'm my forces are normally parliamentarian but i thought sod it i'm starting something new something different I might do some royalists. So these are likely to be either Hopton's or um, uh, why has the name escaped me? Uh, Prince Rupert. God, I don't know what happened there. Uh, I did even think about doing them as Blackwells. Um, they I looked online on a website called Keep Your Powder Dry, and it's um, it says on there that their Blackwells were either red or blue, but when I used to do English Civil War Society, or the English Civil War reenactments, the Black Wolves are black. So, I don't know what happened there. Um, but, I don't know. Like I said, I'm looking for some flags. If I find a flag that I like, then I might end up just using it on them. Uh, I'd love to try and expand these a bit more, but they are quite expensive. These were £16 for the, for the um, pipe block. And then obviously if you get the two musket blocks to go with it, eh, £16 each as well. And then with postage, just trying to do one regiment like this, it was 50, 55 pounds, like I'd said before. So I'm a bit reluctant to keep buying loads of them. I might see whether or not I can ask kindly and see if I can get a deal with them. But, uh, you know, I, I doubt that um, they'll want to do that because obviously they've still got to make money themselves. Um, but highly recommend these Steel Fist miniatures. If anybody's interested in doing smaller scale, go for it. I mean, you don't obviously have to do the uh, the way I've done it. These are with the the whole pack of 24 pikemen and the um, NCOs. So I keep losing focus. And the NCO, not NCOs, but the um, officers and sergeants uh, all together. I mean, you could quite easily just do them as rank, you know, tens. Put them in tens, make smaller units. But I wanted to make a big pipe block effect, something that I've not really done with my 28 mil because they're only 14 man pike blocks and even then there are only eight pikemen no eight uh ten pikemen 
Uh, no, 12, sorry. Anyway, I'm rambling on. Um, definitely check them out. Fantastic figures, really detailed, really happy with them. And I will definitely be getting some more. And hopefully they bring out some new stuff. I think they've got cannons on the way and some more officers. But that's it for now on these guys. Hope you're all well, all alright. Bye for now.